So let's say you have steam valves on your steam radiators and how do you know they are bad and you have to remove them or replace them? And um, there's a few things I want to show today. I have one cut open to show how it looks like inside. And I think that's what we first start with. This is this one here. I took the handle off and then we can look at the inside of it. And I hope with all my lights and this nice camera that you can see it good. Um, let me try to zoom in more, a little closer, like this here. And then let's see how this goes. So the steam pipe, which is bringing you the new steam, is coming from here, from this side. It's going through this cavity here into your radiator. The radiator is down here. Now this valve would usually be more open. And um, so this is a very old one. And there is the rubber casket, gasket, what is in here. The rubber gasket is missing already because the steam is constantly going along here. Um, it will take the casket out over time. The casket will disintegrate and be pushed into the radiator or from the water be flushed down into the pipe. If um, the casket usually gets um, the gasket, sorry, the gasket usually gets very hard and brittle breaks in half and then half of the gasket is laying here clocking the pipe. Get stuck in the pipe. So if something gets stuck in the pipe water can puddle and you get this water hammer and those kind of situations. Um, this is the stem and if you turn it the stem moves out. There's the thread for the stem. This whole thing moves back and widens the opening here. If you turn it in more, it will close the valve. Um, water pressure and steam can go through this thread here into this cavity here and then come out here on the side of the valve stem. That's why you have what is marked as blue here, so called packing. So. If your valve leaks up here, we have a valve and there's water coming out here, then that's because the packing underneath this nut is bad. You can notice this on this one here. It moves a lot and it twists in and out very, very easy. See that? I can promise you 100% that the valve packing here is not working anymore. You can take a look inside. How you close it. Then it's completely closed. Meaning this piece is all the way down. And when you open it all the way up, it's all the way against the ceiling. The packing here, the blue material, probably blown out so it can leak. It leaks especially when you have the vent only a quarter open or half, what you should never do on the steam heat. But if you have a, a heating system where water goes through here and you have it half closed, then it leaks a lot of water. When you turn it all the way up, then we have a special thing happening here. I want to zoom in again. Yeah. So if this here goes up more, let me see this, I have to take it apart then. Oh, look at this. Yes, new right. So this part is loose in there. So if it's all the way closed, like this now, here, if you close it all the way, then you can see here that it's pushed against this like a seat here and this will also close right so even though the packing is missing if the valve is all the way clo uh, open it will keep this back here sealed basically 
and it stops leaking. So there's a difference between all the way open or not. Um, a steam valve should be anyway operated all the way open all the time so that steam and water can move freely within the valve. Now, if yours doesn't leak up here, then there is basically no reason to replace it unless the nut down here breaks off. So this is another thing what can happen. Let me show this on this part here. Same valve, right? This nut here. I'm sorry, so I have to zoom out the camera again. Here, wow, here. Move this over. This nut down here. If that nut rusts off completely, yeah, this is a piece of the old gasket here. It's like really weird stuff. Then this whole thing could fall off here. This whole thing falls down and closes the hole basically, so you have no heat. And what also happens is the steam goes into the radiator. The water condenses and wants to come back, but this thing fell down into the seat here and the water has a hard time to exit the radiator. So that radiator will collect water more and more and more. With this nut comes off. Okay? But if this nut comes off, you could like take the stem out all the way when you remove the packing nut. So if you replace the packing nut, this nut here. This is the other side. There's the packing here, this stuff. So if you take the nut off, yeah, let's take the nut off. Then you could place packing into the nut. And you can still not take this out all the way. It's not gonna work. What you have to do is basically then to remove this upper part, this part here, from the valve, right? So if this is the valve, this is screwed in here, you can screw the top off. Open it up, look inside if this is still here. If that is still there, then you're good, right? Then you put it back together. You cannot close the valve anymore, right? That can happen. but. Uh, why would you have to close the valve? You have to close the valve if you don't want heat in that room, zero heat. Or if the radiator broke, like if the radiator cracked, then you would have to have a functioning valve where you can really turn it off. But um, so far I would say, like this valve for example, is very hard to turn because the packing is still intact. It's open, like all the way. There can steam go in and out, so this one would not have to be replaced necessarily. And so it would not be urgent. This one, on the other hand, where uh, I think is missing already. This is super loose here. This is a valve I would replace. Oh, the others look... They all look the same though. They all have the problem that the rubber seal is gone. Well... A bunch of old ones here. Okay, so I hope that helped you to understand how this valve works and when you have to replace it. So it looks like inside. Oh, this, by the way, is old packing. Very old packing. And that's where it leaks. Up here, water spitting out all the time. <laughs>